Welcome to part 1 of the video series Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA for short. In this video, you will learn how the Token Manager works in the IDM self-service and what it is needed for. The Token Manager is used to set up an MFA. The MFA describes a procedure in which users must confirm the login via an additional factor, for example with a separate application or a separate device. This procedure considerably increases the security against, for example, data misuse when using IT services of the IT Center of RWTH Aachen University. For instructions on how to use MFA for HPC, please visit the help pages on the REG app in IT Center Help. You will find the link in the video description. There are currently five token types. We will now explain step-by-step -step how to create the TAN list via the self-service. Please open the self-service in another browser window or click on the link shown in the video description. Log in via the RWTH single sign-on account with your username in the format AB123456 and the corresponding password. In the self-service, please click on Token Manager MFA in the navigation menu on the left. To create tokens, you first must generate a TAN list with several one-time security codes. This list only serves as a backup in case other tokens are lost. It is not yet possible to select further tokens at this point. Clicking on the next button takes you to the next page, where you can change the name of the TAN list in the description. The field is pre-filled with the current date. You also create a password here to protect the TAN list. The password must meet the requirements of the RWTH guidelines. It is important that you do not use a password that contains any of your personal data. This includes details such as your name or date of birth. Please enter your password and repeat the entry in the field to the right. Please make a note of the password in analog or secure digital form as you will no longer be able to view or change it. Then click on Create and Download and select a storage location for your TAN list. From this point on, the token manager is also protected with a second factor. Please ensure that the list cannot be viewed by unauthorized third parties. Also remember to create a new TAN list before using the last code. If another token is lost, the TAN list can grant access to the token manager if not all security codes have been used. Each one-time security code is only valid once. After successfully saving, you will be returned to the page for selecting your token type. Now create a preferred token using an app or a hardware key. These two options are the most secure. We will explain which token types are available for which services and how to set them up in the next parts of the video series on multi-factor authentication. If you have any further questions or problems, please contact our IT service desk on plus four nine two four one. 8024680 by email to servicedesk at itc.rwth-aachen.de or via chat. You will also find the link in the video description.